Hi, this is Kanu Babu. In this video, I want to explain how to auto increment the varchar value in SQL Server and how to auto generate the ID in SQL Server. So generally in SQL Server, we can auto generate the ID based on uh, identity constraint is there. So let us see, I will create one database here. Create database. The name of the database I will give as demo. And here I will try to use the database use database name that is demo and here i want to create one table create table the name of the table i'll give as emp column name c number data type int and e name data type varchar varchar of 20 and here i will write salary data type i'll give money so i want to auto generate the employee number so here we can use identity column identity of starting number starting number is 100 comma increment by i want to increment by one time so the initial value is 100 and uh, the next value is automatically it was incremented now you no need to manually insert the value in e number column see i will try to create the table execute go to the databases right click refresh here one database is created with name demo and here you can see one table is created with name emp and right click on EMP, edit top 200 rows. Now it is not, we cannot insert the value in identity column. So here you can say, I'll give the name Anil, salary 23,000. So automatically, um, the initial value is 100 and I will give Sunil 21,000. So the number is auto incrementing. Sagar, I'll give 32,000. Here you see, the number is automatically incrementing. Okay, this is how you can write the identity. But now how to auto increment the where care value. I want to auto increment the where care. So here I will create one more table. Like create table. Table name I will give as something like uh, some patient table I will create. And the column names I will give as PID, patient ID. Before that I will give one column called ID, data type is int, comma, PID data type I want to give where care where care of 30 I will give comma P name patient name data type I will give where care of some 40 is it clear and I want to apply identity for ID column so here I will try to write identity of starting number comma increment by increment by 1 so here you press F5 so I create the table and I apply the identity for uh, uh, ID. So your ID is some uh, column that what I have taken. Uh, so right click on the tables, refresh. Here you see patient table, edit top 200 rows. Now ID, the first ID is 1. Right, so patient ID I will give something like PID underscore 1. And patient name Anil I will give. And here I will give PID underscore 2. Patient name Sunil I will give. So here I want to write the program for auto generate the PID through your .NET program. So what I want to do here is I will write one TSQL program to auto generate the PID. So here you can say I want to create the we already know the structure of TSQL program consists of three blocks. First one is declare block, next one is begin block, next one is end block. And within the declare block I want to declare two variables at the rate ID data type is uh, int I will take and I will declare at the rate PID data type is varchar varchar of 30 I will give here is it clear now I want to set the value you can set the value by using set command set at the rate ID is equals to I will write one query like select max of select max of ID from patient table so when you execute this query this query will get the maximum value here you see so the max id is 2 now here i want to um, set the value for pid set at the rate pid is equals to here i will declare one string va variable pid underscore and now in a ge uh, generally in dot net int plus uh, uh, string is string any data type plus string is string string plus any data type is also string but in sql server 
uh, any data type plus string is error so we have to convert as this id is of integer type i want to convert into string so what i will do here is i will declare uh, one variable here declare at the rate i data type i want to give as int and here i want to store the value in that uh, i want to convert the id so how to convert i want to set the value set at the rate i is equals to cast of at the rate id as var care as var care of some 20 i will give is it clear so i converted the id into var care now whatever the id that is available that is stored in i now i want to uh, concatenate so again i will write here set at the rate pid is equals to at the rate pid plus uh, at the rate i is it clear and to check the output i want to print the pid so select the tsql program press f5 here you check so here when i try to execute you will get one error because this uh, i want to declare this i variable as var care so var care of 20 i will declare here now here you check once when you try to execute press f5 the output is pid underscore 2 so actually what happened here first of all this query will execute the max of id here the max of id is what 2 and here the we converted the we stored that max of id in where uh, at the rate id variable and again i am converting at the rate id uh, to var care and i am storing in i now string plus string is string but i want to uh, auto increment the number so what i will do here i will try to increment the i value is it clear so here i got already got the at the rate id and again i will set set at the rate id is equals to at the rate id plus one i want to increment the i value so that here let us execute this one press f5 pid underscore three now i'll try to insert the record in where patient table insert into patient values of insert into patient values of i want to insert only specific columns that is PID and P name. So here I will write patient column names PID comma P name because we are not inserting the identity column. Now if, uh, my PID is at the rate PID comma at the rate P name. Is it clear? So so instead of uh, variable name, I am directly inserting the value Jdip. Is it clear? So here you see. Try to execute this one. Press F five. So here you got one message saying that one row is affected, P5. Go and check it out, execute. Right. Similarly, if you want to insert one more value, you can insert. In this manner, you can auto generate the, auto increment the wear care value. I hope you understood. For more videos, you can subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. And uh, you can uh, join in my Facebook group also. Thank you. Have a nice day.